Now that we've discussed compound interest, let's talk about effective rate. Uh, the effective rate is the simple interest rate that would produce the same accumulated amount in one year as the nominal, nominal rate compounded m times a year. Uh, the effective rate is also called the true rate. So the idea is that if we did the calculation, uh, a equals p times 1 plus the effective rate, which we usually label as R sub EFF. That'd be the same as if we did a, a compound interest rate, except that we're only doing the calculation one time per year instead of M times per year, right? So this is the compound interest formula over one year. And what we're saying is there must be an interest rate that will give us the same value over one year. Okay, so let's figure out where, uh, if we can come up with a formula for this effective interest rate. So those two formulas that we had on the last slide are going to allow us to solve for the effective interest rate. Basically, we just set them equal to each other because they both equal our accumulated amount over one year. So we do 1 plus a p times r plus uh, the effect 1 plus the effect oh my goodness uh, p times 1 plus the effective interest rate r sub eff sec that equal to p times 1 plus r over m raised to the m that's our compound rate with t equals 1 and then what we can do is we can solve for r sub EFF, the effective rate, just using algebra. So the first thing we'll do is we'll divide by P on both sides, and those effectively cancel. That leaves us with 1 plus the effective rate equals um, 1 plus r over m raised to the m. And then finally, we will subtract 1 from both sides and arrive at our formula, the effective interest rate equals the quantity 1 plus r over m raised to the m minus 1. So yes, this is our effective rate formula. So we'll formally define our effective interest rate formula as R sub EFF equals the quantity 1 plus R over M raised to the M power minus 1. And just remember that these pieces in the formula, R sub EFF is our effective rate uh, the nominal interest rate is still R, and the number of conversions per year is still M. Let's take a quick look at an example, and then we'll wrap this video up. So what we're going to do here is find the effective rate of interest corresponding to a nominal rate of 8% per year, compounded monthly. And so we'll use our formula. We're going to solve for R sub EFF. And that's going to equal 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 12, because m equals 12 when we compound monthly, raised to the 12th power minus 1. This is a great time to use your calculator. And when you make this calculation, I believe it comes out to be approximately 0 0.0830. And so what we're saying is that the effective interest rate is about 8.3% per year. So that's how we calculate the effective rate. And good luck with your assignments. Let me know if you have any questions.